big day today. One, we have some private track time with the nitrous. Two, we got a new windshield going into the car right now. And uh, I went out this morning with Caleb, got some stuff for my nitrous. Uh, I got a torch and a temperature sensor thing. Got our boy Justin out here. He's gonna be doing the, uh, doing the glass install after we get back from the track because we gotta bounce in like half an hour to get there. All right. <laughs> All right. So the according to American Motorsports, where I got the nitrous filled up, they said optimum bottle temperature is about 85 degrees. So when I get to the track, I have to heat this up 10 more degrees. Yeah. getting ready to get on the track right now. Uh, I'm not gonna be going ape shit. I'm just probably gonna do five laps and then drive back home because I didn't really bring anything. I drove here on one set. I gotta leave on that same set. Only brought one bottle. So just gonna keep it nice and simple. And uh, I just mainly wanna see, since I know exactly what this car did on this track, um, third gear equaled five, six clutch kicks to get around one corner. <laughs> So if I could get around the corners with no clutch kicks at all, that's how I know the nitrous will suffice.
a lot better. Yeah, we're not leaking That's anything. Good. Yeah. Oh my god, that was great. Cool. Sweet. Well, thanks for uh. I have a girlfriend, Raven. Do look at the camera. Thanks, man. No problem. Oh. I was about to say, what the fuck, dude? No, He's you ain't getting those. Only loaded magazines in the yeah. fucking What the fuck? He brought his gun to his gun. So the paint has arrived. Air Force Cloud. Cloud. Cloud, yeah. I'm all about to go. He's I'm using like the this. worst tool to get this open. Oh, he's going for the self tapper now. There's nothing better. I wish I had a quarter. I have. Yeah, where's the glass? Oh, dude. dude, that looks a lot. He did. He got it with a self tapper. Dude, quarters are the sauce. <laughs> oh, oh, that oh my effect. god! Look at it's it. It's definitely the sauce. Oh Ooh. my god. <laughs> Windshield came out really good. Um, we have the trim pieces off for now because I am going to be painting the car and uh, I'm gonna get this red out of here. I'm gonna paint that and then we'll put the trim back on. It goes on really easy. It's just clips all the way down. So that's sick. Do you want to drink fucking me, huh? Huh? Do you want to drink me, huh? On a seto? Mm -hmm. Sure. Do you have the map on a seto? Yeah. All right, dope. We're about to play some Nihon on a seto. All right, so let's talk about the nitrous for a second. Um, as you guys clearly saw, um, I didn't have to do any clutch kicking whatsoever. Um, I did, you know, clutch kick to enter to do that faint entry into the bank, but that I probably didn't have to do that. I'm just so used to clutch kicking to enter like with a faint entry. But the previous time I went to Citrus County Speedway, um, I had to do like three or four clutch kicks, like some absurd amount of clutch kicks just to get around one of the turns. Now I don't have to do any clutch kicks to get around the turns at all and I can just kind of sit there and it's really fun too now because now that I'm not really clutch kicking and just, you know, having to worry about the power to get around the corner, I can just kind of lay into the throttle and then really just kind of aim the car. I can look and see where I need to put it and just aim it where it needs to be rather than, you know, worrying about just making it around the corner because of the power issue. But I'm actually super happy with the way that the whole nitrous setup is, um, you know, come together. The car's come a long way. And I'm sure, you know, some of the weight reduction probably helped, um, you know, the feel of the car a little bit. So I'm excited to see where this car takes me. What to expect in the next few days, we still got a bunch of stuff to do. Um, I have to paint the car. Well, I have to prep it first, like sand it and do all that stuff. And then I have to still do the trailer stuff, which isn't really a big deal because it has easy lube hubs on it. Um, and what else? Chow, is there anything else we have to do before me, Han? Yeah. What? Go to strip club. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed it because it was really fun to really take that thing out and see what it'll do with a little bit more horsepower. Um, so stick around and definitely look forward to some of the stuff we got planned in the future.